Hey everybody, Jess here, Key Tarot. Welcome to you all. This is a reading for our water signs. Welcome. Um, I'm gonna do, we're gonna go with Cancer, then Pisces, then Scorpio. I will put the timestamps in the description box down below. Let's say a quick blessing, all right? Holy Spirit, thank you for being with us here today and in every breath that we take. We ask that you direct these messages to those who are meant to hear them, amen. Okay, um, what do we want to, we're going to start with cancer. What do we want to use for you guys? I kind of want to use this after tarot. got the chariot that's your card first card out nicely done showing up for yourself very good um we're about to head into your season cancer i love it i have the ten of swords on the bottom of the deck i feel like you've made a lot of changes this year Ooh, some things have not been so great not the changes that you've made but some of the things you've experienced this year boy howdy um, could have been on into last year as well. That Ten of Swords can be an energy of um, betrayal. It, it's the minor arcana of the death card. It can be an on again, off again relationship. Um, I feel like you're kind of done with everything right now, Cancer. I feel like you're ready to move forward in your life and you're kind of, you're kind of sick of uh, whatever this was. So I'm gonna dig a little bit further in a minute. I got the moon out. That's also your card. Wow. The moon, um, ah, boy, kids. Um, the moon can represent um, deeply suppressed emotions. Okay. Some of you are, are having some pretty emotional experiences right now. Some of you may be crying a lot. There may be some depression in your life or just kind of emotional overwhelm. Uh, keep seeing this three of wands on the bottom of the deck, which is an energy of manifestation and change. I think it's time for things to improve. I think you're ready to have something to celebrate here. I have the devil. Mm -hmm. There's a lot of regret and there's the tower Something may have happened during Scorpio season that w that may have been when this ending or this betrayal happened. Um, it may have had something to do with addictions or a toxic person in your life. You feel like you haven't had much of a voice in this or someone may be having to speak for you in some way. Um, the truth is, and it feels like the truth is coming out about whatever this situation has been, um, the, because this Ace of Swords is an energy of clarity. It's something that, um, oh wow, all of a sudden my head just got really swimmy, um, Cancer. Um, it feels like you've been waiting for this moment, waiting for the truth about a situation to come out. The truth is that it wasn't fair. And you know what's interesting is when I very first picked up this deck and I split it, the first card I saw was Justice and then the Ten of Cups. Um, this may have to do with legal matters. This may have something to do with a family situation. Um, whatever this is, um, you've been waiting for this truth to be released. Like I said, I almost feel like someone has to speak for you. Like your voice has been restricted somehow. Oh, I have this two of wands. I feel like I'm hearing somebody say, and I don't know if you're single or in a partnered relationship. Either you're ready to meet the right person or I feel like I'm hearing somebody say, if only I had someone in my life who was supportive. Oh, and I've got the two of cups here and I have the Hierophant. Those of you who are in a partnered relationship, um, this may be the year that things um, kind of take off in your life, like um, together. 
Um, this may be the year you decide to get married or you decide to make some kind of major commitment, maybe moving in together. I see all these keys in here. Um, if you're in a partnered relationship, it feels very supportive. It feels very healing, very happy, very healthy, very mutually beneficial. If you're single, I think that you're kind of getting ready to meet the right person that's going to offer you a solid commitment. Six of Cups, that's that soulmate energy. It's past life love, someone that you recognize on site, someone that you remember from another lifetime or someone that you grew up with or someone you would intend to grow old with. Hmm. I have the Four of Wands. Cancer, you're killing me, kids. Um, this is beautiful energy, which is a good thing because I got to be honest, it was not so great um, at the beginning of this spread. But guys, I feel like there's an energy of manifesting the right person into your life. This Four of Wands is that Twin Flame 1111 Awakening card, but it also is a card of marriage. You've got marriage here. You've got marriage here. You've got this supportive, beautiful partnership, someone you're very attracted to, someone who's very attracted to you. You have these soulmate dynamics here. Um, wow. I can see the lovers poking out here. Let's just, here, let me get another deck real quick. Um, let's do, let's do this vice versa tarot. I had this in my hands when I first started talking, um, a moment ago. Um, Some of you may be trying to make a decision about a physical relocation. Look, we got a lot of repeats already. Holy three holies. There's that three of cups I was seeing where I was saying somebody wants something happy to celebrate. You may have something happy to celebrate. This can be an engagement that's coming up for some of you. Um, some of you are trying to make a decision, like a major decision about your life because um, this, the six of swords is like the minor arcana of the chariot and you have the chariot out here twice, which is your card cancer. I think you're trying to do things that are the right choice for you, for your family. If you have one, um, this can be an energy of physical relocation, like actually packing your bags and moving like in the back of a U-Haul truck or something. Um, this is somebody who's having to make a decision pretty quickly about what they want to do and where they want to go. I feel like you're leaving behind 2021 and let's be real, a lot of us are 2021 and even the first part of 2022 um, with a lot of regret or guilt or shame or something. It feels like something has followed you into this year and you're saying like, man, when is this going to quit? What do we have to do to make this get better? And I feel like somebody here actually has to make a decision about what they want to do in their lives. And it has something to do with this devil energy. And I saw that in here while I was shuffling. Um, again, there is some kind of either addiction or toxicity that you're having to make a decision about. Or you may be with a person who struggles with some addictions and some toxic behaviors. You'll understand whichever one. Tell me about this tower. This tower feels like the moment where you have to make a decision because you can't stay here, right? You can't stay where you're at. Um, there's nothing left. <laughs> so we got to make a choice. We got to make a choice. We got to make a change. We have to pick a direction with this two of swords. I feel very nervous all of a sudden for you. Like my tummy has a lot of anxiety in it. I feel like you're not, like a lot of you, I feel like, and this isn't gonna be for all of you, but there's, there's a handful of you out there who don't feel like you have a voice right now. And it's almost like you're waiting on someone to come and help you in a situation. Um, this nine of wands is someone who doesn't feel like they can let a lot of people in and trust a lot of people right now. 
that's that wounded warrior card, you know. I've got the two of wands out here again and the five of wands out there again. I saw that a minute ago, but I think I stuck it back in. Um, I feel like you've been really battling emotionally, mentally, physically with either someone or with yourself um, for a long time, maybe years. And you're kind of just waiting on this truth to be released. What is that about? Ace of wands on the ace of swords. And there's the world. Um, this is someone who says, I need something different. I need something new. I don't know if you need a new person. I don't know if you need a new life of some sort. It feels like you're almost desperate to get away from where you have been, to make a change, to make a choice. And it feels like it's coming because with this world energy, I mean, you can't, like I was saying, you can't stay here any longer. You are, you've outgrown wherever you are or you feel like you've overstayed or you just recognize that it's time to leave whatever this party has been. And I don't think it's been fun. With this five of cups out here twice, like I said, I feel like someone has kind of just let you float down the river Someone is not paying attention. It's like someone is so overwhelmed by their own grief, their own sadness, that they have lost sight of everything that's important. And um, they may be extremely controlling. Um, but there's a lot of regret here. Interesting. With that Four of Swords, it's an energy of separation and needing a break from someone and there's the moon under that again you have a lot of repeats in here and um a lot of them are yours i feel like um with this eight of wands here it feels like someone is taking charge of this situation somehow it's like it almost comes out from an outside source um, but I think this week, Cancer, you may be receiving information about whatever this Ace of Swords, whatever this change is that you need to make in your life. Okay, now about this love situation you got going on over here. Um, I've got the Hierophant twice out here. I've got the Chariot twice. I have the Moon twice. I have this Two of Wands twice. The Two of Wands for me is about seeking partnership. It's kind of a lusty attraction card. You've got this Two of Cups out here. You've got the Four of Wands and the Lovers and the Six of Cups. The Six of Cups is kind of the minor arcana of the Lovers to me. Um, it means you're making a very serious choice about your love life here. Some of you may end up getting engaged. Some of you may end up being married within the next like calendar year. Yes, I know. I'm excited for you. Yes, there's your something to celebrate. There's that Three of Cups. I was waiting for that to come out. Um, there's your six of pentacles. It feels like, okay, I quite honestly, Cancer, I see where the darkness has been here. I can see the need for change. I can see that you are in the process of making these choices about the changes that are coming in your life. But I really feel like these dark times are coming to an end. I feel like by the time we get to your birthday, whoever you are, which is going to be right around the corner, that's when things start to shift. You know, things are, it's always darkest right before the dawn, isn't it? I think it's been really dark for a while for a lot of you. And I think there's somebody who's been waiting for the right person to come into their life and trying to manifest the right person in their lives. Some of you do have to make some choices and some changes. Some of you, in order to meet this person, you may actually have to physically relocate. There may be some toxic behaviors in you that you need to eradicate. Maybe you need to stop. And this is me sounding kind of finger waggy and bossy. I'm not trying to, um, but some of you may find that you continually attract the same type of person who continually like betrays you and you might need to look at that a little bit and it feels like once you finish whatever kind of healing that needs to happen here that's when you meet this right person I'm seeing I've been seeing a lot of air sign energy for you and a lot of earth sign energy here for you as far as whoever this partnership is that's coming into your life 
Yeah, and I think it's gonna be real beautiful and it's real lovely. It's right place, right time, right person. And this is someone who's very supportive and someone that you wanna to commit to who also wants to commit to you. Um, over here with whatever this situation is where you're having, where you kind of need somebody to speak for you or you feel like kind of suppressed here, it feels like whatever this situation is, it's flipped upside down. It's like whoever is taking the lead in like your case or taking the lead. Um, I feel like someone's like in charge of a situation here. Someone is seeing this from a greater perspective outside of you. And this is someone who now has all of the facts that they need. Yeah, and so I feel like this person comes in and is able to deliver something honest, some kind of truthful, even verdict. Um, which really, I mean, let's, I mean, quite honestly, it, it turns your frown upside down for sure, but it's, it's like a relief. It's a relief that the truth is finally coming out. Um, again, some of you may be choosing to physically relocate this year. Some of you may be forced to physically relocate because of this tower. Like I said, we can't stay there. I just saw 1551 on the counter. Um, some of you have had a lot of anxiety and stress and worried. Like I said, that it's almost like it carries over from 20, 2020, 2021 into 2022. It feels like by the time we roll around to your very next birthday, which is like in a couple of weeks for some of you, um, it feels like things really shift into where they're supposed to be. Nicely done, Cancer. Um, thank you very much for letting me read your cards for you today. You guys are beautiful. This is really, um, it looks like someone's been through some pretty darn tough stuff actually um, but it does feel like things are improving and they're going to be improving within about the next month you're gonna have a lot more to celebrate you're gonna have something to be happy about those of you who are partnered you may end up getting engaged or married very soon and those of you who are single I think you are manifesting a wonderful person into your life all right don't forget to like and subscribe thank you guys all so much Mwah. see you soon next up we have Pisces Pisces I'm gonna use this cute little tarot of Wonderland for you guys Yes, indeed. Oh, Pisces, what is happening? Oh, Pisces, what? I have the Six of Swords in the reverse and the Three of Swords in the reverse. You, I feel like you are experiencing like a relationship that's like Groundhog Day. That movie, that Bill Murray movie from, um, I don't know, was it the 80s, early 90s probably? Great film. You should watch it if you haven't. Um, but this Six of Swords in the reverse is someone who's really struggling to move on or physically move out of a home. The Three of Swords in the reverse can be, um, Three of Swords is an energy of a breakup. Usually when we have the Three of Swords in the reverse though, it's an energy of healing. But in this combination, it feels like someone who simply can't get out, simply cannot um, move forward. I have this King of Cups right here, which is Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio energy. That's you. And I feel like I, well, that's what it probably is. So the King of Cups is some one who's very loving, very kind, very generous, very good with their feelings. I can see three, three, three on the clock across the room. And it feels like whoever you are, you haven't been telling the truth about how you're actually feeling in this situation. It feels like you want to leave. You want to get out of something, but you feel quite stuck as though you can't. Okay. Um, let's see. Seven of Cups, someone who's very emotionally overwhelmed right now. <laughs> oh, kids. Let's see. Let's, let's just, I got the Eight of Pentacles here. Someone is overworking. They're throwing themselves into work because they just don't know how to be at home or they don't know how to exist in their own environment anymore. Um, this could be related to your work life too, Pisces. It really could be. It doesn't necessarily have to be about love. Um, this um, High Priestess is your card, Pisces. Um, you're highly intuitive, whoever you are. Truly, though, you have not expressed yourself. You, you, um, the King of Cups has all the feelings, but they aren't so great at expressing them. You know, this may be you. This High Priestess is known as being the secret keeper, right? I got to turn our music down just a little bit. It's bugging me.
love me some queen, but I do not want to get flagged for content <laughs> or copyright claims. All right. Anyway, back to you. Um, I feel like, so what I was saying is this high priestess right here is someone who's very good at keeping secrets. This is someone who watches everything. They know everything that's going on behind the scenes, up, down, one side, back side, all the different ways. This person is very, very aware, very self-aware also. This is someone who is a healer. They're a mystic. You could be a tarot card reader. Um, you could be someone who just... This is what it is though, Pisces. Every day when you look in the mirror you're not seeing yourself in the mirror anymore. It's kind of disturbing. Um, I've got the Queen of Swords on the bottom of the deck. I really feel like it's time for you to start opening up your voice, expressing how you're truly feeling. Um, but that's what I'm hearing. I'm hearing somebody saying, it wouldn't matter if I did. It would not get better if I did. Trust me, it would not get better if I did. And I'm sure you're right. I'm sure you know the reality of your situation. It feels like you're dealing with someone who sees things in very black and white perspectives. But there's like a lot of gray area somewhere in here for you. Mm. I have the Ten of Swords in the reverse now, Pisces. Woo. Ten of Swords is an energy of, um, it can be an ending. It can be a breakup like this ten, this Three of Swords. And I've got the Ten of Wands that came out here with it. You got two tens in a row. Tens are cycles of completion. But you haven't been able to let go of whatever this is. You haven't been able to walk away. And I'm not saying that's your fault. You may be with someone who's extremely controlling. Or you may be in a situation that you feel is controlling your life. Um, but this Ten of Swords in the reverse can be the energy of divorce. It can be the energy of an on-again, off-again relationship, um, as can this Three of Swords in the reverse as well. This can also be an energy of betrayal. And at this point, it feels like you are having to push this up the hill every single day, and it is exhausting, and you are exhausted. And like I said, every day feels like it's on repeat. It's like you aren't even sure what you want to do anymore. It's like a lot of distortion. This is somebody, oh honey bun, this is somebody who's saying like, I want to just start my life over again. I just want to leave. I just want to get rid of this. I want to, I want to leave this all behind. I don't want to keep carrying this baggage around with me. I don't want to keep carrying this person around with me or this situation or this whatever around with me. I wish I could just start all over again, but unfortunately it's about the person or people that you chose to align yourself with earlier on in your life. Hmm. Five of Cups, darn it all. And there's the Eight of Wands. Let me get one more out with this deck before I am. Um, and there's the Five of Cups right there too. Um, and I got the King of Wands on the bottom of the deck. There's the Justice card on its side. Some of you may be um, trying to make a decision about whether to stay or go in a, in a, in a marriage. That Ten of Swords and this Justice card, very similar energies when they come out this way. This Justice is Libra energy, but it's about legal matters. It can be courtroom matters. I feel like you want out of this relationship or this situation um, because there is this understanding that no matter how hard you try, it wouldn't matter. It, it's never going to get any better. Some of you, it feels like you may have... Um, been involved in a third party situation or someone has involved you in a third party situation. And there's like a lot of focus on that for you or for this other person. Um, now this eight of wands is interesting. I'm gonna clarify, I'm gonna use this deck, this vice versa tarot here. Um, I have the emperor on the top of the deck here, at the bottom of the deck actually. Um, and this seven of swords, there's been a lot of fighting. There's been a lot of drama, somebody here, and I don't know if it's you or if it's this other person. Like I was saying, this emperor can be very, very controlling. They can be childish. 
at times and even tyrannical and someone who really loves to start drama because um, it almost like gets them high or at least it's like proving that you care or something. There's the Seven of Cups. Um, there's the Four of Swords, which is an energy of a separation or taking a break. There's the Eight of Cups, which is walking away from the situation. Um, you're very worried about what other people are gonna say if you do leave. This is someone who's saying, my reputation is gonna be so trashed. Wow. Well, first of all, the people who love you and truly love you will love you no matter what, and they will want you to be happy, and they will want to support the choices that you make for yourself that makes you happy. Just gonna say that. Anybody who has anything else to say can suck it. You know that? With this Five of Swords. Also, it feels like whoever you're dealing with here, it's almost like you admit defeat to them on a daily basis. It's almost like you let them win always because it doesn't pay not to. Like I said, there's someone here who's very controlling. There's someone who needs to be right. But it's almost like you have to be the yes man or the yes woman all the time. Oh yes, whatever you say, whatever you say, absolutely, whatever you say, whatever you think, definitely. Now I've got the hanged man in the reverse, which is also your card, nicely done showing up for yourself here and here and here. But this hanged man in the reverse, Pisces, this tells me you are not a happy camper. You don't feel like yourself and you haven't felt like yourself for a while. This hanged man has been waiting um, for the opportunity to make a change, but it feels like, um, kind of like your whole world's been turned upside down. Oh well, yeah. I feel like at this point, oh no, you're almost hoping that this person will leave you. <laughs> so you don't have to be responsible for leaving them. I know that sounds really harsh, but this is what I'm hearing. And so you don't have to be responsible for making that decision. I have the world card here, which is the ending of a cycle. I've got the strength card under that. That's Leo energy. And look, there's the high priestess again. Look, pumpkin, kiddo, sweetie pie. Um, in order for you to have a life that you appreciate and in order for you to live a life of authenticity, you're going to have to stand up to whoever this person is, right? Anytime the strength card comes out, the devil's always real close behind, right? It may be during Leo season that you finally start standing up for whatever it is that you want. It feels like I'm reading for someone here who really and truly, uh, like I said, you're highly intuitive. You may be very psychically gifted. You may be very empathic. And empaths do have a tendency to attract narcissists because we often feel um, that we can change people or we have kind of a knight in shining armor complex or something like that. And I'm not saying that's what happened to you. I'm saying that it can sometimes happen. Um, you may have aligned yourself early on with someone who you know, it seemed good at the time, but they've just kind of evolved into someone who's extremely controlling in your day-to-day -day life. And all of a sudden you're getting up and you're looking in the mirror and you're either putting on makeup or you're shaving or whatever it is you do. And uh, you don't recognize yourself anymore. Um, you might not even recognize some of the behaviors you're starting to exhibit. You don't feel like you can talk to anybody at all about this? Kids, okay, how's this gonna get better? I feel like during Leo season, maybe whenever this situation takes a turn. I really do. This is somebody who stops fighting and starts putting up boundaries. This other person that you're with here, Pisces, currently with, like they have kind of a burn it down mentality, like burn it all down kind of mentality. Um, not literally, but like you were saying before, like you're worried about your reputation. I understand why you might be because um, it's almost like if you don't do what this person says, if you don't stay in this situation, your mouth, your, your name is going to be in this person's mouth a lot like all over town. Oh no. 
Um, it makes you want to retreat and just go into yourself. You're spending a lot of time alone. There's the devil because it's easier to just be alone. Some of you may be spending a lot of time at night in the bathroom, just, just like standing in the bathroom. I've got this temperance energy. Ooh, yeah. Um, this is, the temperance is, um, some of you may be trying to readjust some of your routines. Some of you may have tried to exit this situation at the end of last fall, but somehow you got sucked back into it. You've tried to leave, but you can't. See, this Eight of Cups is typically about walking away from a situation. This is the vice versa tarot. It's printed on both sides, but it feels like you can't. It's like you're forced to sit there and look at the mess you've created or something. Oh my gosh. There's a song that has been plaguing me and it's playing over there on the music device. Um, it's, it's Africa by Toto. I hear it every day, whether it's on the radio or whether it's in the house or whether it's out and about. It is plaguing my life. It has been for like a year. Um, it's a great song. Um, this Nine of Swords is about mental imprisonment and something, something falls apart here. Um, and this is your freedom. This is like your get out of jail card. I don't think it's going to be get out of jail free though. Um, some of you, and this is something I was noticing with that temperance card as well. Some of you may have a divinely guided soulmate who has come into your life. And let me just tell you, whenever a divine, like a twin flame dynamic, um, whenever that person, there's that temperance card again. Um, whenever that happens, um, it can really dismantle your life in a hurry. Yeah, um, there's the Ten of Swords again. Some of you are going to have to physically relocate and move. Some of you may be trying to do that in the next month. Um, and some of you have to end some relationship in your life. Wow, we have all the same cards out here. Look at this. I got the Two of Wands, which is about being in the right place at the right time, right? And I just saw that Four of Wands, but I think I stuck it back in here. Um, we've got this physical relocation and travel card with the Six of Swords. Then we have the Moon, which is Cancerian energy. And then we have the Chariot, Cancerian energy. The Chariot is moving forward. The Six of Swords is physical relocation. We were just talking about that. I've got the Three of Swords here again. Um, this is someone who finally goes ahead and cuts the cord with whatever this is here. I have the Justice in the reverse, which we already talked about with the Justice in the reverse over here, um, about filing legal paper, paperwork possibly or ending a major contract in someone's life. Um, this is gonna be financially challenging for a lot of you. I'm sorry, um, but a lot of you, this relationship has been financially challenging with the Five of Pentacles, and then I have the Hierophant in the reverse, which is an ending of a major contract in your life. There's that Four of Wands. I kept it out. Oh, boy, kiddos. It feels like that the end of this summer is when you make this decision like final ending, not doing it again. Yeah, yeah. Um, yeah, I don't know. It feels like you have a lot of um, things to figure out here, Pisces. It feels like you have a lot, um, like a plan that you need to make here or something like that. It feels like there is a lot up in the air right now. There's a lot of choices that need to be made. Something major happens in this situation. Very eye-opening experience where, um, like it, with the tower, like you can't stay there anymore, right? You gotta go somewhere else. Um, it's like your eyes are opened to what you've been experiencing with um, this devil energy here this toxicity here. Um, it's this mental imprisonment, this lack of the ability to choose or this inability to move on. Um, this person has been controlling your choices. And I feel like I'm hearing somebody say, I have let them control my choices. And that's great that you're feeling like um, 
you know, taking responsibility for yourself. I love that. But the truth is you've outgrown something here with this world card. I always say it's like the snake that sheds its skin. Like you can't get back in there. You're too big now. Um, you've done its time. It's a cycle of completion. It's the last card in a major arcana of a deck of tarot. Um, oh, kiddos. Um, something's about to change. Let me just ask real quick, like about this eight of wands. I forgot to clarify that card. Um, somebody here says, um, wow. Okay. This is like a lot of fast moving conversations. It feels like you're almost having this conversation with a lot of different people. Um, the 10 of cups in the reverse can be the ending of a marriage or a major relationship that at one time kind of felt like it was everything in the world to you. Um, with this 10 of pentacles here, this is a conversation about money, where the money is going to be going. What about the house? Who's keeping the house? This is somebody who says, I've done everything I can in this situation to make this better. And I don't know how to fix it anymore. Um, with this two of, of pentacles right here this can be someone wow somebody oh no um it feels almost like you've been having to perform a role for a very long time and you've had to manage all of these emotions while keeping a smile on your face while trying to keep everyone else happy i think you're tired with that 10 of wands right there, how could you not be, you know? Um, it's like you can't keep pushing this boulder up the hill any longer. There's somebody here who has to admit that um, their lives are not fulfilling or they're not um, authentic. There it is. Um, and, and life isn't always going to be perfect. I'm not saying that it should be. I'm not saying you're supposed to wake up and be happy every single minute of every single damn day. That's not how life is. But there has to be a moment where you, but you have to at least have peace in your life, you know? I mean, it's not always possible either, but if, if you can say that 80% of your days in this situation are real bad, then that's 80% of your life. And what do you owe this person? Do you owe this person your whole life? Do you, or do you owe yourself and your higher power your whole life? Um, and it's almost your responsibility to get yourself into a safer, emotionally more, a more emotionally safe space. All right, you dig? All right, I love you guys very much. Thank you for letting me read your cards for you. Don't forget to like and subscribe if you are so inclined. Mwah. Next up, we have Scorpio. Scorpio, I am going to use this Deviant Moon Tarot for you guys. A surprise <laughs> um ace of pentacles that is great the ace of pentacles is a fantastic card to get this can be um starting a new business this can be doing something that um just feels really right to you scorpio this can be a new relationship coming towards you i've got the ace of pentacles and the ace of swords here and the magician there is, um, wow, I don't know what we're talking about here. Let me, I've got the magician here, this two of wands and this five of swords in the reverse. Whatever this is, you don't care about what anybody says. You are, I think you are just a very authentic person for one thing, Scorpio. It's like, I feel like I'm talking to someone who's grown into themselves, um, someone who has become an amazing version of themselves, absolutely. Someone who, um, doesn't get bogged down by what other people say. Oh, I've got this page of wands here. I do feel like there is this energy of new love. When I split this deck, I saw the page of pentacles and the six of cups, which is soulmate energy, but it's also like a brand new 
like in its infancy kind of stages of a love relationship, I feel like there may be someone that you're attracted to or that is attracted to you, Scorpio, but for whatever reason, they're a little bit shy maybe to tell you. Yeah, there's the Page of Swords. Interesting, there's the Ten of Cups, what? Oh, there's like a lot of love there that this person has for you. Like this is like marriage energy with this 10 of cups. It's a family coming together. It can be a blended family coming together. And like I was saying, it's even on both sides of this. And I don't know, this page of swords can be someone who's watching you from a distance. I, um, or maybe someone that you're meeting online even. There's a lot of attraction between you and this person. This two of wands is about being in the right place at the right time to attract a partnership. It's like doing things so that, you know, the right person is coming towards you nicely done. Um, this person could be a Scorpio or a Sagittarius or an Ophiuchus, let me see. Wow, whoever you are, um, some of you, wow, okay, um, some of you have always had a lot of responsibility on your shoulders, um, whether it was putting yourself through school or taking care of younger siblings, you may have a family of your own, um, you may have had children at a very early age, you may be a single parent, there's something about you that um, it feels like you've taken on a lot of responsibility at like a young age and it somehow has kind of created this like um like a weighty aspect of you like somebody who has a lot of experience and wisdom in them i feel like whoever this person is that's coming towards you or wants to come towards you I feel like they can see all of that in you. I feel like you, okay, I gotta clarify this right here because with this seven of wands, this can be someone, I, and you can see how they're just like putting their hands up. This person, um, you might be, yeah, you might be like a little bit jaded when it comes to love. Or you may just be nervous about allowing someone to come close to you in any way. Sorry, I called you jaded. <laughs> That's not what I meant. You know, I wasn't trying to be offensive. Um, let's see. Seven of Swords. Oh, boy. You may have dealt with people who really didn't always tell you the truth and it's caused you to not trust other people. Um, you may have found yourself in situations where you didn't feel like you were, you were able to tell someone the truth and it's caused you to not trust people in situations. And there's the seven of cups. That's interesting, you've got seven, seven, seven. Well, I'll tell you what I always think about seven, seven, seven. Um, and there's the three of swords right there. That's an energy of uh, an ending or a breakup, right? Um, seven, 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 and feel free to look it up on the Google for sure. But for me, seven, seven, seven is when, um, kind of when things have gotten so stressful that you get down on your knees and you pray about it because you don't know what else you're supposed to do. Um, I feel like some of you have been through that. I feel like a lot of you have been through experiences that were very emotionally disruptive. Um, again, dealing with people who weren't always telling you the truth in your love life, maybe in family relationships. Um, this Three of Swords, again, I always call it the Ben and Jerry's card of the deck, right? Because it comes for all of us at one point or another. Um, that's heartache and grief and pain, and that's dealing with an ending. And it feels like um, whatever that was, 
um, really strengthened you in who you are. I have this Six of Swords here, which can be about physical relocation or travel. Let me get another deck. I want to use this Artist's Inner Vision Tarot for you guys. I feel like a lot of you are doing pretty well for yourself financially. Um, yes, I have this Two of Cups. I think that there was a time in your lives where you felt like you had to, um, and there's the Judgment card. There's the Six of Cups. Like I was saying, I split the deck earlier and I saw that Six of Cups. Um, I think that you may have gone through some times in your life of financial hardship or even poverty at times. And I feel like at this point, you're doing very well for yourself. Everything you've invested in, like I said, some of you have put yourself through school here. Whatever you've invested in for yourself um, was smart. You're smart, 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 Scorpio. I can tell. It says so in the cards. Yeah. Um, so I don't think that finances are going to be so difficult for you any longer or maybe even ever, ever again. Some of you are real planners and you're real savers. I have the three of pentacles. Um, you may be, well, okay. So some of you who are um, working with, on a team, um, sometimes I think you may struggle to feel like your voice is heard. Um, you may be dealing with someone on this team that's not such a great team player. And it may be putting you in a position of having to decide where you want to go next because it feels like you're kind of like, if this person's going to stay, then I want to go. But if they're going to go, I'll stay. Kind of feels like that. Um, got this Knight of Swords out here again. Well, I mean, I've got the Page of Swords here and then I've got this Knight of Swords, um, which is you being very honest about your opinion with whatever this is. Um, and maybe even going to um, your superior in this workplace and, and voicing your concerns. Um, some of you will be traveling um, either across the country or even internationally, um, probably at the end of summer or fall. And I've got the Six of Swords. I was just talking about the Six of Swords. That's that energy of travel, like I was saying. Um, it can also be re relocation. There's the Seven of Cups again. Seven, 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 seven now. Um, this Six of Swords is um, an opportunity to change your life in some way. And it really does feel like you're getting your... So the Six of Swords, yes, it can be about physical relocation. It can be about travel. It can be about all those things for sure. But it, it oftentimes it also means getting yourself out of a sticky situation and into some place that's safer or calmer, some place that's better for you, better even for just your headspace for a little while. Maybe you're going to Maui. I think Maui would be really good for my headspace right now, just incidentally. <laughs> Um, I've got this hanged man. Wow. Yeah, I feel like those of you who are struggling in a workplace dynamic right now, um, you're just kind of waiting on somebody else to make this decision. Like, please fire them. They are the lamest, you know, maybe something like that. Um, and let's see here. It feels like whoever is in charge is pretty good. There's the three of swords under the queen of swords. Nicely done. Um, that's that same car that we have here. That's an energy of an ending. And it feels like whoever is in this Queen of Swords position, and it may be you, Scorpio, um, you're pretty bright, you're pretty wise, your eyes are pretty open to the truth here. And I'm hearing this is not the first time we've had complaints about that person. Yes. You're like, oh, really? It's not just me. Okay. Um, yes. Thank you for bringing your uh, complaints to my attention. It will be dealt with. It will be resolved. Okay. Back over here to this, whoever this person is with this Six of Cups energy. There's the seven of swords in the reverse again. Okay, I guess we're still talking about this. It's like the truth comes out about whatever this situation is. Um, okay, yeah. Do we have to talk about that anymore? I mean, clearly the truth comes out with the seven of swords out there again. You've got it here, you've got it here. You've got a lot of repeats in here. Tell me about this person over here. I've got the hermit on the bottom of the deck, which is Virgo energy. You may be meeting this person during Virgo season. Eight of Wands. Some of you, this will be someone you've met online. Um, nine of Cups. Wow. You may meet this person while traveling, or you may meet this person like right after you return home. 
if you have already met this person, this person is shy to talk to you. This person feels more comfortable with you in like a group setting. Um, there's this Queen of Wands energy here, Aries Leo Sagittarius energy. Um, and there's the Magician again. That's Ophiuchus energy for me. And there's the Hermit again, which is Virgo. We already talked about that. Um, so those are some of the main signs that I'm seeing here, like repeated. Um, this person enjoys your company. They think you're very funny. They think you're charming. They think you're witty. They think that you are beautiful or handsome, um, very attractive. I don't know why, but I do just feel like they're very shy. Well, I can't help you there. Let's see. The seven of pentacles. Wow, that's a lot of sevens. Um, this person, um, they're not going to tell me a lot more about this person, if I'm being really honest. Um, the seven of pentacles is my classic. I'm not going to tell you. Wait and see. Um, I really feel like this may be someone you've waited for for a long time. I mean, I don't know that you know that they have these kind of feelings for you. If you're my, so ideally, you would be just as attracted to this person as they are to you. And so that's a good indication. Do you feel this way about this person? Let's ask, how do you feel about this person? I've got the fool. Look, there's so much travel energy here. And the six of wands. You've only really spent time with this person in a group dynamic. You haven't really spent a lot of time alone with this person. You're like, I don't know. I mean, they're really cute and all, but they never talk to me, so I don't know if they like me at all. <laughs> okay, yeah. And there's the world. Some of you actually are traveling internationally this year. There's the Seven of Wands, another seven. Um, get on the get on the Google and Google um, 777, why don't you? Um, and let me know what it says in there if you want to put that in the comment section. Because I, I honestly, I don't really know. Um, I just have my meaning that's attached to it, you know? Um, this fool energy is someone who is ready to start all over. It feels like you may meet this person or you may kind of solidify your relationship with this person if this is someone you have already met and you're like, oh, I know who that is. Um, like when you return from a trip, I think I'm looking at the Mediterranean. I'm not sure. Um, I got kind of focused on this map behind the fool here. Fool is a brand new beginning and it's time. I feel like you um, are getting ready to move on to the next phase and cycle of your life here, Scorpio. These are some big cards. I feel like you've made a lot of necessary changes in your life to get you to this point. This world is the final card in a major arcana of tarot, right? It's the number 21, and that's the card we get to before we wrap back around with the Fool, which is the number zero. Nicely done. I love this. This is such good vibes for you. I, I feel like I'm reading for someone who, again, has accumulated a lot of weight and wisdom to their soul um, in their whole lives. Um, you may have always been told you were an old soul or someone that carries like a very mature energy to yourself. And um, you may not always allow yourself to have a ton of fun. I'm just going to say it's a possibility. Um, and I feel like whatever this, if you are traveling, if you are taking a trip, good job you. Um, it's just what the doctor ordered, it seems like. Um, this person, whoever they are with this soulmate energy and this Ten of Cups energy, I mean, that's really beautiful vibes and with this two of cups i missed that one too um i just would encourage you to not um i don't know to give maybe more of a little bit more of a welcoming energy to you i don't you may have to you may have to open a dialogue with this person because like i said this person feels like a shy bunny absolutely a real cute bunny but a shy bunny for sure all right that was your reading for this week scorpio i love you guys so much thank you very much for letting me read your cards for you today don't forget to like and subscribe i'll see you soon Mwah to you all